Well, hello, everybody. Welcome. My name is Philip Brown. I've got a pretty cool little math puzzle for us here, a geometry question. I have an equilateral triangle. Sides are seven. We've got a semicircle inscribed in it. We have to figure out the radius. So the way this is going to work, I'm going to give you three clues, a chance to think about it and try it, write it down, sketch out some stuff. Before I do, why don't you go ahead and try it now? I'm going to share the first clue with you in about three seconds. When I'm done with this little pause right here, we're going to get into it. So go ahead and pause it. Let me know what you think the answer is. All right. So first clue, we're going to be making two right triangles out of this thing right here. The first one's going to be with perpendicular bisector like that. That might not seem like much of a clue, but go ahead and try it. See if you can kind of stumble into the way to figure this thing out. And don't be afraid if you find some extra information. I mean, every one of these I do, I find all kinds of stuff that really doesn't help me. But the only way I can get to the answer is by exploring all the possibilities. So pause the video, try this one, because in three, two, and then, well, one, of course, I'm going to give you the second clue. You ready? So clue number two. Don't forget your properties of special right triangles. The 30, 60, 90, 90 degree triangles at play here. And as you can see, the hypotenuse, well, that's double of the short side, or the short side is half of the hypotenuse. The way you can tell it's the short side, it's opposite, opposite of the 30 degree angle. And the longer side, the longer leg is the short side times the square root of three. So see if that helps you figure out if you got stuck on that first triangle and go ahead and Put your answer in the comments if you think you got it. Let me know how this is going, because in just a second, we're going to go on to clue number three. All right, so clue number three. Here we go. Uh, where the circle intersects the side of the circle right over here, well, that's tangent to the center of the circle. So the radius is tangent to the point of tangency. So we've got another right triangle right there. Uh, go ahead and give that a try. Pause the video. Leave me a comment when you get it. Leave me a comment if you're having a good time, you like this problem. Let me know if you think this was easy, hard, you know, whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and dive into the solution here in about two seconds. All right. So here's how I solved it, right? So we, we've got this triangle right here. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up a little bit so we can see a little better. I'm going to get rid of the color, right? And I'm going to label, we've got an an equilateral triangle. So that means that all of the angles are 60 degrees, right? All three sides are seven. I'm going to go ahead and drop a perpendicular bisector right there. That makes this a 30 degree angle. And this is a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. Hypotenuse is seven. The short side is seven divided by two, right? So this is the triangle got right here. And as we know, the, if we have a 30, 60, 90, I know that the short side is half of the hypotenuse, so that's seven halves. And whatever that is, times the square root of three is the long side. So I know that this long side right here is seven root three. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back in our original diagram right here. Seven root three is the distance from the bottom of the triangle to the top. All right. Now, point of tangency right there where the circle and the side of the triangle touch. That's the point of tangency. That is perpendicular to the center of the circle. So that would make a right triangle right here. So if I go ahead and clean this up a little bit, we can see that triangle specifically. I know that the hypotenuse for this triangle is 7 root 3 over 2. So getting our 30, 60, 90 right triangle back in play over here, I know that x, the hypotenuse, is 7 root 3 over 2. That means that the short side is what we're really looking for right here, right? That's the side we're looking for. It's opposite of the 30 degree angle. So that's this side over here. So whatever the hypotenuse is, we have to multiply it by one half. We have to take half of it. That's going to look like this, 7 root 3 over 4. So this side over here, 7 root 3 over 4. Put that back in context, and you can see that the radius of the circle, 7 root 3 over 4. So how would you like this problem? Was it pretty cool? Was it too easy? Was it appropriate? Did you learn anything? Have a good time? I kind of liked it. Um, anyway, do what all the cool kids are doing. Like, subscribe, comment, share. And if you are a math teacher or you just like doing math for fun, I put a weekly problem just like this one in my Substack. write up a little article about it. If you're a math teacher looking for some solutions to the problems of planning, doing some creative stuff in class, check out my website on teachingmath.org. My Teachers Pay Teachers site too. Got all kinds of good stuff there for you. Lots of freebies as well. And until next time, I hope you have a great day.